Basics here. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see behind me, my background is a little bit different. I'm just trying to change it up, give a little bit of a different vibe on my channel every so often. Because this is a different style of video, I figured why not do a different back, right? So there you go. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing is, as I told you before, I am obsessed with my nails. I love doing my own nails just because I'm finicky that way. I like to see, I like to do my own nails and know that it's being done properly and no damage is being done. So yeah, that's just the extra diva in me. I can't help it. But my main love is to show you guys when I'm coming up with designs, when I'm putting my gel nails on, that kind of thing. Mainly the designs though, because that's the most fun part, right? But anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you how I came up with this design right here. Okay, this is stamping design, a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of gem placement, that kind of thing going on. Of course, you know, I stay true to my gel polish, so of course, I didn't show the gel polish application this time. I just wanted to stick to the nail art part of it because, you know, I love that. So yeah, so this is basically what I'm going to be showing you, how I put this one together. I really love this design. It reminds me of Marie Antoinette. I don't know why, it just does. You guys know I love anyway, to talk, so before I ramble off into another dimension... Let's okay dolls, nails. so I'm back again with another nail video. Today I'm just going to be showing you how I basically do my nail artwork. I'm going to be doing, of course, a new fresh set of jellies with the Bio Seaweed. Um, and I'm going to be using rose gold. I really love this color. I'm dying to see how it's going to look under some nail art. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to be using one of these two stamping plates, both from Moyu London. London, you must know these guys. They make the most amazing stamping plates, especially for chicks with long nails like me, because they have the extra long um, stencils here, which are just awesome. So yeah, I'm going to be doing an array of different um, stenciling on my nails to have kind of a, a lace design that I'm going to come up with. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be going down. So say bye to these girls the they're gonna the be gone is gonna be me showing you how i do my nail artwork okay all right so let's okay, go though so after all of that my nails are nice and done this is the rose gold in action i absolutely love this color i didn't think it would come out as pretty pastely kind of dirty pink as it is but i'm really feeling this color so you know what's about to go down now right some nail art so i'm gonna be doing some stamping possibly adding a little bit of gems to it kind of spruce it up a bit so I'm going to show you how I go about doing that, and yeah, that's about it, so let's get nailing. because I'm going to be doing some more gel polish and I don't want any grease to get underneath the uh, layers as I'm doing them. So I'm just showing you the stamping as it's finished now. I love how the Mundo de Una's stamping polish it's, uh, works. It's so thick and rich and it just gives such a crisp, clean line every single time. 
I mean, of course, you have to maneuver. Sometimes it's a bit crooked. You got to go back in a couple times. But when you're done, this is what you're left with. And I just love the result. I think it came out really nice and really defined. And that is not all, of course. I want to glam up these, these gams. So I'm probably going to be placing a few of these black gems with like a little bit of iridescence to it in a few empty spaces here just to give it a little bit of pop. And of course, you know, as I told you before, when I'm doing any uh, gem laying down at all of all, uh, sorry, when I'm doing any gems, laying down any gems of any kind, I have to use my gelish polish because this stuff is the truth. It's the best. It gives you a nice smooth surface and everything is really nice and secured for the next 10 days as you go your go through your everyday life. And, you know, you don't want any gems popping off of your style. It just ruins it, right? Yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is just add a few uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of bling to this and um, yeah so I'll let you see me doing that okay here we go So there is the finished job, my Marie Antoinette inspired nails. I am absolutely loving how the stamping came out. It came out super crisp. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see the detail because I'm super proud of the way this came out. I thought I was going to have a lot of trouble getting the lines to lay down properly, but I really am happy with how this turned out. So yeah, I really, really love these. They're super cute. All right, dolls, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy this video. I didn't really get much feedback as to whether or not you guys like the nail videos or not. But, you know, if you do like them, please like, subscribe, and share. Do comment as well. And like I said, I think I will be throwing these kind of videos into the mix every so often. So every so often you'll be seeing me throw in a new uh, nail video. Okay, I hope that pleases you. All right, dolls. So until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time, gorgeous. Bye.